Wayne's big, big discovery! No more years of corn on the farm! Sure sounds like we're ready for our field trip to a farm. I brought my sparkly pink farmer gloves. I brought my favorite farmer hat. I brought a hat and gloves, too. And I also brought a watering can. Seed marking flags, bandana, lip balm, sunblock, and my lucky green trowel. <laughs> Wonderful! Because here's Farmer Frank's farm now! Whoa! Howdy-do, Farmer Frank. <laughs> Howdy-do, Miss Fern. Hello, kids. Welcome to my farm. Are you ready to help me with my spring planting? Yeah! Well, then, come on. Let's head on out to the field. Okay, here we are. And here's my good old friend, the Scarecrow. His job is to scare the crows away from eating your newly planted seeds. His name is Charlie, and he says, Howdy do! Howdy do, Charlie! Okay, kids, grab some seeds and choose a row. Orange pumpkins in this row, red tomatoes in that, yellow squash, brown peanuts, and then... A row for my favorite white onions. Yay! Oh, what, what? Tomatoes, squash, onions. Oh, save the peanuts for me. Now what, Farmer Frank? Now we plant. Watch, and I'll show you how it's done. Well, the first thing you do is you dig a little hole like this. Can you dig it? Uh -huh. Then you take a little seed and you put it in a hole like this. Can you dig it? Uh-huh. Next thing you do, you put some mulch on the top, then you pat it all down, and you're ready to rock. It won't be long till you're doing the seed plant and shuffle. Now every day here on my farm, I'll be tending my fields at the crack of dawn. The very best feeling in the world for me is raising up crops from tiny seeds. Sun, rain, a little luck. That's what you need to raise them up. You'll always find me down on the farm. This sure is a life for me. Well, the first thing you do is you dig a little hole like this. Can you dig it? Uh -huh. Then you take a little seed and you put it in a hole like this. Can you dig it? Uh -huh. Next thing you do, you put some mulch on the top, then you pat it all down and you're ready to rock. Won't be long till you're doing the seed plant and shuffle. Your turn, kids. The first thing you do is you dig a little hole like this. Can you dig it? Uh-huh. Then you take a little seed and you put it in a hole like this. Can you dig it? Uh-huh. Next thing you do, you put some mulch on the top. Then you pat it all down and you're ready to rock. Look, Look at us now, because we're doing the seed plant and shuffle. Look at us now, because we're doing the seed plant and shuffle. Now all we do is give them a little water, and that's that. Can you dig it? I think so. Let's see. First, we take our trowels and dig a hole. Then we sprinkle in some seeds, add some mulch, then cover it all with dirt. And give it a little patty pat pat. Don't forget to give it water. That's it, kids. You got it. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Yeah! I'm going to dig a million holes in a million minutes. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, much better. I'm going to plant a white seed right next to a red seed and see if I can invent a pink vegetable. A little worm. Hi, little worm. That's an earthworm, Yubi. He just loves to tunnel through dirt. That helps keep the soil easy to plant. Care for a yummy mulch snack, Mr. Worm? You'll need some energy for all that tunneling. Let's see. Should I dig here? Or here? Or should I dig there? You gotta just dig it, Wayne. Uh... Huh? This doesn't feel right. Guess I better try another spot. Wayne, what's wrong? I keep hitting something hard. 
Do you think it's a rock? Let's pull it out of the ground and find out. Uh, it's too big for the two of us. We'll help. Uh, what is it, Higgly Kids? Wayne found something really big in the ground. And all of us together can't pull it out. Hmm, another one, huh? And right in my onion patch? <laughs> well, no worries, because I got a farmtastic way to get it out. All right, now stand back. I'm going to try to haul that big thing up and out. Yay! Wow, that is really big. Bigger than me. Yeah, but what is it? Ooh, ooh, I know, I know, I know. It's an underground telephone. An underground telephone? Yep, for the cute little earthworms so they can call up their friends and invite them to come dance with them. Ring, ring, ring. Hello, Wiggle. This is Squiggle. Want to come over and dance with me? Sure. Okay, goodbye. And then they dance, dance, dance to the disco beat until they get so dizzy, they, they fall down. Cool. Wow! Encore! Yep, that's one high stepping idea there, Twinkle. But the thing is, there's no place to dial on this thing. Not to mention, no dial tone. Hmm. So I'm thinking it's probably not a telephone. Ah, oh, pickles. Hey, don't feel bad, Twinkle. I got a silo full of pieces just like this, and I can't figure out what they are either. Did you say a silo full? Wow! Look at them all. They're all different shapes. And different sizes. And they all look very, very old. Yep, old as dirt. But what are they? <laughs> well... Beats me. Well, this sure is a puzzle. <laughs> yep, a real puzzle. Hey, that's it. Huh? huh? Maybe these pieces are big, gigantic puzzle pieces. Puzzle pieces? <laughs> <laughs> puzzle pizza as ordered. But we didn't order puzzle pizzas, pizza guy. <laughs> you didn't? No, but we found a bunch of puzzle pieces. Whoa! Those are really, really big puzzle pieces. Any idea what you're gonna do with them? I know. Let's put them together. Yeah! Righteous idea, Higgly Dudes and Dudettes. And since puzzles always go better with pizza, these pies are on the house. Cheese you later, and good luck with your puzzle. Whoa! So what are we waiting for? Let's put this puzzle together. Yeah! yeah! A blue nose badger. These pieces are too heavy for this little critter to put together. But if we can't put these pieces together, then we'll never figure out what I found. What are we gonna do? Um, find someone special to help us. Someone special, who could it be? This job's too big for you and me. We need some help. But never fear, oh. It looks like a job for a Higley Town hero. I'm a Higley Town hero. I'm a Higley Town hero, brave and true. I help the town with the things I do. So work real hard and you will see that you can be a hero just like me. A hero just like me. I'm a paleontologist and I think digging is the best. Using shovels, tools, and cats, I hunt for pieces from our past. Find a puzzle in the ground? Could be something old you found. If it's hard, just like a stone, it just might be a fossil bone. Could you hunt in dusty dunes or in craters on the moon? And would you dig with me at the bottom of the sea? I look here and I look there, cause fossils can be anywhere. Link them up and you will see a creature from prehistory. I'm a Higley Town hero, bold and good. I help my friends just like I should. So work real hard, that's what we'll do. So we can be a hero just like you. A hero just like you. 
Wayne, go ahead and put that last puzzle piece, <laughs> I mean fossil piece, in place and let's see what we've got. <gasps> Could it be? I can almost hear it roar. Yes, it is. It's a dinosaur. Good galloping gophers, that's the biggest critter I ever saw. Sure is. And what's more, I believe it's a new species. That means it's a new kind of dinosaur that doesn't even have a name yet. <laughs> I guess our puzzle's solved. And Wayne found the last puzzle piece. The puzzle pieces were really fossil dinosaur bones. Right you are, Twinkle. That's why I think this dinosaur should be called the Wayneosaurus. You're naming it after me? Yes, I am. And we'll put it in the museum for everyone in Higleytown to see. Wow, this is great. And I owe it all to my lucky trowel. <laughs> oh, no. My lucky trowel. It's gone. Not exactly.